Uh, I want to talk about a little bit about what's going on in America today. See, American showing sign of weakness. See, they bow down on one knee to police officer, even though at the state capitol. At the state capitol, they even bow down on one knee. And them other nation looking at that, like Russia, China. They said, what is this? Now look at them now. They are weak. See, you don't bow down to other race of people. You know, you know, it's just common sense. It's showing your weakness. That's how the mother nation looking at you. Even at the all the police officers, some of them, not all of them, but some of them, they bow down on one knee to the black people. Even in the White House, some of them. But, you know, you don't do that. You look bad to other nations. Other nations don't do that. You know, bow down to the people of the other nations. Like Russia, China, and stuff like that. When China took Tiananmen Square, they didn't bow down to the people. You know, you're supposed to be showing yourself you're in authority. You know. I make mean, other nation look at you, you and say, look at you, you ain't nothing. No, you weak. You know, you're showing your weakness. You don't do that. You know, it's just common sense. You know, but you ain't authority. The police officer and stuff that's supposed to be in the authority. You know. Why a lot of those black guys, like I always did say, a lot of them people don't look at that, they don't want to show you the film. But why a lot of them like I said, they have conflict with the police, they re resist arrest or something. There's always something before, but they only show you on television, the news media only gonna show you, oh, look at the police officer shot and killed a man for nothing. That's what they will tell you, but it's not for nothing. There's always something behind it. You gotta always know that. That's the trick they play on, upon you, on your emotion, see. But they always be 99 to 100 percent, it's not for nothing. You got to always remember that. Most all the time it's not for nothing. It's a cause by the person resisting arrest. And, if, and that person is supposed to be obedient to the police officer. When they tell you to put your hand behind your back, you're just supposed to just put your hand behind your back and let the police officer put the handcuff on, on you, whether if you're wrong or if you're right. Because he is in an authority. It's like the light be, it be green and a police officer tell you to stop. Who you supposed to obey? You're supposed to obey the police officer. See? You can't argue with the police officer about the light. Yeah, the light was green, this and that, and arguing with him. And that lead it, one thing lead to another. another. See, and that lead to a lot of time you getting killed. See, you try to tussle and refuse arrest, like police officer may stop you. It doesn't happen to me. Police officer, I remember a long time ago when I was coming from St. Louis and I was going through Mississippi on I-55. And the police officer stopped me at about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. He said because I didn't, I didn't blank my light. I had my light on bright. And I was supposed to blank it on Dean. But I didn't. You know, I was sleepy. You know, I kind of seen him blank his light, but I didn't pay it too much mind. But he came right behind me. A little while I knew that the light was on behind me. And then he stopped me. So... I pulled over and he stopped me. And he said, why you didn't blank, blank your light when, I, when you see me? I said, well, I didn't see, I didn't pay too much attention. But I talked nice to him. But he came to me rough and real mad. He was angry. You know, real angry. There's those police officer from Mississippi. Everybody know that they're, they're tough, they don't like black at that time. 
because that's about 30 some 40 years ago but I talked it nice to him you know and stuff like that so I know I didn't I didn't pay too much attention I didn't see he said well you he went and checked my record and he came back I said next time you blank your light you know and be careful you can go home but be careful and somebody blank their lights and next time you blank, blank your light so I said okay and he said you can go so I left you know but if I talk smart with the man you know got smart with the man he probably ought to hurt me or kill me right then and there see I brought it on myself I didn't blank my light. See, I can't blame the police officer. It was me. You got to understand that. It's like I'm going 100 miles an hour on the freeway and the police officer stopped me. And he, he said, are you under arrest? And I resist arrest. And that's going to cause me to get killed because when I resist an arrest, I'm a threat to him. See. I may try to grab his gun or anything. See, you have to know that. So you're supposed to just go on and be arrested. And that's all. You're supposed to be obedient to the police officer. You know, it's like with God, with God's word. A lot of times if God didn't be obedient in the Bible, to God would say something, he wants you to do something, or you say something, you didn't do it, he punish you. See, for being disobedient. That's what these black people can't see because they done left God. That's what I'm trying to show y'all. All the black, those black preachers, all of them, they done left God. They make believe that they're Christian. They voted for Democrat, the Democrat, and for the New World Order, they for abortion, transgender, homosexuality. You know, all that. See, for fornication and all that. God don't want you to do that. God is not for homosexuality. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He's not for homosexuality. Use a little bit of common sense. And you're calling yourself Christian. Singing and shouting and jumping in church. Saying that you're Christian and you're voting for abortion. Abortion is wrong. Homosexuality is wrong. Transgender is wrong. That's what you vote for. That's what the policy stands for. The Democrat Party policy is homosexuality, transgender, abortion, fornication, adultery, all these things. Lying. That's what they stand for. That's the new world order. Can't you see that? People don't think. You know, that's what I'm trying to show y'all. Black people do not think. You might as well not vote at all. If that's the case, you, you're being against God. You're voting for homosexuality. That's what their policies stand for. They tell you when they have the debate. Y'all don't listen. See? That's all I'm trying to show y'all. That's that new world order policy. That's the new world order, order policy. Homosexuality, transgender, same-sex marriage, women right, abortion, everything. Take all the right away from men. Men don't have no right. That's why the white man losing his power. They become the tail. The Bible tells you that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 13. I'm going to read for you. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. See, God wants his people to be above. Like Britain and the United States, France, New Zealand, all this nation. You know, that Jacob seed, France and all that. Jacob seed. God want them to be the head, not the tail. And say, and thou shall not, uh, thou shall not be above. Uh, I mean, you see, and thou shall not. I mean, thou shall be above only, and thou shall not be beneath. If that, 
thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the word which I command thee this day to the right or to the left to go after other God to serve them. See, that's what they are doing. See, they're going after other God and serving other God. See, that's what is happening now to America. That's why it's hard to be broken. America is divided now. Divided you fall, together we stand. See, like I said, you know, I'm going to go like a, uh, what I think I wanted to go to Leviticus chapter 10, where the guy offer strange flesh, flesh before the Lord. I mean, uh, strange incense, not flesh. I was thinking, thinking about homosexual, but I'm going into incense. Uh, I think it was uh, doing the wrong uh, Exodus chapter 30 and verse 9. See, it tell you about that what the God did, but you can go to Leviticus. I think this is in Leviticus chapter uh, chapter 10 when. Uh, Abihu, Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 1, and say, Nadab and Abihu, the son of Aaron, took either of them his censer and put fire therein and put incense thereon and offer strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. See? The Lord commanded them not to do that. See, just like a little black guy that refused to be arrested by the police officer. That's why all that, a lot of them be getting killed. See, and they blame it on the police officer. It's not the police officer, it's be you. It's like I'm going, like I said, if I'm going 100 miles an hour on the freeway, the policeman stop me. And a lot of them go back and check you, your license, see what you have on you record and everything and sometimes some people had three four tickets on their record and the police officer will come back and say you are under arrest and they refuse to be arrested this is why that the thing started right there they instigated right there so you're supposed to be obedient to the police officer go on and put your hand behind your back and be arrested a lot of time the police officer ain't gonna tell you to get on the ground I just might tell you if you a lot of times they used to tell us a long time ago, just put your hand behind your back and put the, they'll put the handcuff on you. Save all the tussling. See, you know, you haven't did nothing. If you did something, that's going on with the man. You know, I ain't never tussle or fight with the police officer. Whether they took me, I remember one time they took us, me and my, my cousin, they took us in the car, they talked, we had beat up some young white boys. We said, uh, we said, we didn't beat up no anybody. He said, yeah, man, look what your shirt is dirty. You look like y'all been fighting, wrestling. I said, no, we ain't did nothing. We just talked nice, me and my cousin, we talked nice. And the police ride around like he was going to take us to jail. Then he the, got a call from another police officer and he said, well, we found the one who did it. See, we know we haven't did nothing. You don't used to be arguing with the police officer for nothing. Keep your mouth closed. They say you haven't dated and talk softly nice. And that's it. Well, if they take you to jail, they're going to take you. You know you haven't dated nothing. Well, like I said earlier, uh, uh, the dab and the bahu, the sons of Aaron, they offer strange, you know, incense before the Lord. And the Lord commanded them not to do that. You can go to, like uh, like I said, Exodus 30 and 9, where he said, if you're not to offer strange flesh, that's why the Lord, the Lord had killed them. See, like in, uh, let's see, a second verse, you see, in second uh, verse of chapter 10, 
Leviticus chapter 10 and sin saying the Lord killed them and there went out fire from the Lord and destroyed them and they died before the Lord you see why they died for disobedience that's why because he had, the Lord had done told him not to offer strange men. that's why God didn't let Moses go into the promised land. First time he told Moses to smite, smite the rock, rock. But the second time he told him to speak to the rock. But Moses went, he, I think he smoked the rock. He had a second time. See, the Lord told him to speak to the rock. See, second time he had told him to speak to the rock and the water was going to come out. But the first time he had told him to smack the rock so the water will come out. But Moses disobeyed him this, the second time. That's why God said you won't enter into the promised land. See, God always will punish you when you don't obey. See, you have to be obedient. It's like with the police officer. Every time the police officer won't do you nothing, even though he's a bad police officer. If you don't resist him, don't talk smart to him, every time 99 to 100%, he won't do you nothing, even though he's a bad police officer. Because you're being obedient. Alright, and Exodus chapter 30 and verse 9. It says, Yes, you offer no strange incense thereon, nor burnt sacrifice, nor meat offering, neither shall ye pour strange I mean pour drink their uh, drink offering there on see because you see they offer strange like in the first verse uh, first part of that verse when saying yes yeah, sure offer no strange incense there on see um, uh, the dab and the bayou they offer strange incense before the Lord and the Lord killed them there on but God had done told him not to do that. See? That's all it be. Disobedience. It's like with the police officer. He being disobedient. It's like the judge. The judge tell you to shut your mind. You might try to bring, bring a point across or something. The judge tell you to shut your mouth. You just got to shut your mouth. He don't want to hear it. That's it. You know, because if you keep talking, he got to tell the police officer to take you and throw you in jail. You know? Put a worse of fine upon you. That's all it be. That's what these women need to tell their sons, you know. But they don't tell them that, you know. Tell my oh, is scared for my son and all that. It's obedience. That's all it called. Like working on a job. If you don't obey a working on a job, then your supervisor, former, whatever, they gonna fire you. You know, they don't want you. It's the same thing. With God, is the same thing. God wants you to be obedient. You know, police officer, judge, it's the same thing. Because they're over you. It's like a parents with the children. They want their children to obey them. It's as simple as that. Nothing hard about it. The problem comes when you don't obey. This is where the trouble starts. You know. When the news media and people believe all these lies of those news media. They're working there with part of the new world order. The beast. And everybody worshiping, worshiping the beast. And they can't see it. That's what that beast system stands for. Same sex, marriage, abortion, transgender. Homosexuality, everything. That's what that beast system stands for. And you can't see. They be worshiping the beast. You'll see the next time when they have a march for homosexuality, all around the world they march. <laughs> Did you see that? And then for Joyce Soro, what they was doing, all around the world they marching. See? The same thing. No different. For abortion, we're talking about abortion. They go and march all around the world, all those nations. Same thing. 
<laughs> See, worshiping the beast. See, he causes all to worship the beast. See. You know, don't people don't know who they be worshiping. See, worshiping false God. You have to obey God's word. God tell you to obey the law enforcement and all that. You know, your master on a job, he tell you all that. Obey your mother and father. The Bible tells you that. You know. I mean, I obey it all the time, but he tell you that's what he tells you. God's what God tells you to do. You know. God put this this government, you know, it's like God wanted Trump to be in that office. And nothing you can do about it. You know. Until he wanna get rid of him. And nothing you can do about it. Look how them people that tried to get rid of him many times, lied on him, trying to get rid of him, rid of him. You know. The Democrat crack trying to get rid of him. But they can't. See, until God get rid of him, for him to get rid of him. That's it. You know, God is in charge. He sets up government. All right, this is what I wanted to uh, bring to y'all today. You know, America ain't gonna be coming to tail. See, ain't gonna be no leader no more. That's why them China and Russia ain't going. China and Russia ain't gonna respect us no more. See, but we bow down to one knee, and just like a lot of men do that when they ask a woman to marry them. You're not supposed to be bowing down one knee when you ask a woman to marry. You. And put yourself lower than a woman. And you're supposed to be the head. See, that's all I'm trying to show you. You take the woman by the hand and ask her, she want to marry you. She say yes or no, whatever. She don't want to marry you, don't want to marry you. And that's it. Get somebody else. Find somebody else. You know, don't be falling down on your knees, you know. You know, but you bow down to the Lord Jesus Christ. Not the man. See. That's why these men, the uh, white men, they're losing their authority. I've been saying that for many years. White men losing their authority and losing their country. That's in Britain too. And the United States. Other countries, France, you know, all those nations. They're losing their authority. And that's going to lead to war. You know. America too, because of country ain't going to respect the other country no more. When you bow down to the people of your own country, they ain't going to respect you. You know. You don't do that. You know, you're supposed to be in authority, like the law enforcement is supposed to be in authority. You know, you don't bow down try to make friends with other race and all that. You know, a matter of time, you can't make friends with black people. I'm just telling you like it is. Because always some of them going to be one of, just like with the Palestinians, you know, with the, with the Jews. So some of the Palestinians, you can make friends with the Jews. Some of them, most of them, you can't make friends with. You want to kill the Jews. It's like a lot of black people. Here they're already mad. A lot of them still going to want to kill the police officers. Can't make friends, even though you bow down on your knees. Don't matter. You know, there's a lot of hateful people out there. They don't left God. See, they're not godly people no more. Now, if it was godly, like black people used to be a long time ago, they wouldn't have had that problem. If they believe in God, you know, they wanted to serve God back then. Now they don't want to hear nothing about it. They raised those children out of wedlock. Them girls, boys didn't marry those girls you no know, more. That's why the Bible wants you know, to marry. You know, get a girl pregnant, you're supposed to marry that girl. You know, just have sex with her, you're supposed to marry her. Huh. But they don't do that, they got away from that. I remember they used to do that in our country. See, so that's why we're having all this problem. That's why them boys don't listen to the police officer no more. The girls, the women too, it could be lawsuit. Now they're going to say everything is discrimination, discrimination. The boys and the girls. These men, too, working on a job. Discrimination. Discrimination. Filing lawsuit. You don't open up a can of worm now. You know. It's like about sexual harassment. Sexual assault. They open up a can of worm. 
You know, same thing about Black Lives Matter. All that, all those groups. See, the Democrats for all these different groups. And they're destroying the country. But it's just how it is. But the word of God got to be fulfilled. You know, like I said, a white man losing their country. You know, other race going to take over. Women going to rule this country. You see all them cities and all this. Women running all them, being mayor and all that. All that used to be men job. Being governors and all that stuff. And the White House senators and all that. Women taking over. They're going to kick all these men out. They use sexual harassment, sexual assault, rape, everything to kick these men out the office. That's what I've been trying to tell these white men for years. But they can't see. They don't, don't think. They don't left God. So God is doing that. God said women going to rule. You know. But that's what I wanted to show y'all, you know. America and a white man losing their country. You know, God give this country for them, you know. It's like God give Israel his country, but they fell away from God. You know, a lot of time they get kicked out. You know, that's what probably gonna happen to America. You know, all those people gotta be fear they got fear for their life. And that's what's happening now. See, the Bible tell you that in Leviticus they got fear gonna be fear for their life. They'll be a, like a shaking up a leaf, they gotta be a, afraid. For their life, you know, it'll get worse and worse as time goes on. See, they're coming against all the white men now. I, I warned them for three, four, five years ago. You know, two, three years ago, I've been warning them. That's what's coming. But you gotta wake up and speak up, you know, and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and obey Him. You know, the only way you can change, but otherwise, you know. Bible say they won't repent. That's just how it is. You know. Only a few, you know. But save yourself, you know. But thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word.